I'm Rebecca from Ingvit. In this lesson, you'll learn seven idioms that you can use to give advice to other people. Okay, let's get started. So, the first one is save your breath. Do you have any idea what that might mean? Save your breath? Well, save your breath means don't waste your time talking because there is no point. For example, Let's say that a colleague of yours is trying to ask a supplier to lower his prices, but he won't do it. And you know that he's not going to lower his prices anymore. So you tell your colleague, don't waste your time, save your breath. He's not going to lower his prices. Okay. So save your breath means don't bother talking because it's no use. All right. Next, watch your back. Now, when do we say this? Watch your back. We say this when we're telling someone, be careful of other people that he's around or he or she is around or uh, that, um, that maybe they are considering working with or something like that because you want to tell that person that he or she has to be careful of those people. That maybe they might trick him or they might um, cheat her or something like that. So you're telling them to be careful because they can't trust the people around them. Okay, got it? That's watch your back. Be careful of other people around you. Next, hold your horses. What is that? Okay, so hold your horses simply means, wait, slow down. Don't go so fast. Okay, for example, let's say that someone went for a job interview and she thinks it went fantastically. And now she's planning to, she's sure she's going to get the job. And she's like, well, as soon as I go home, I'm going to order that car that I've been waiting to, to order. And you tell her, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's great. I'm so glad it went well, but hold your horses. Why don't you make sure that you really get the job? Why don't you wait till they get in touch with you? Okay. So that's an example of how you could use or when you could use the expression, hold your horses. All right. The next one, count your blessings. Okay, so what does that mean? Count your blessings means think of all the good things. All right, think of all the good things that are happening in your life. And usually we say this to someone when uh, something has happened and maybe they're thinking of the bad aspect of it, but actually there are a lot of other good things happening in their life. Okay, so for example, let's say that somebody who has a good job wanted to get a promotion, but she didn't get it. So what do you say to her? Okay, never mind. Count your blessings. You still have a really good job. And maybe a few months from now, you'll get that promotion. Okay, so count your blessings. Next, keep your chin up. Okay, what does it mean to keep your chin up? Think about it. You can actually figure it out a little bit. Often when people are depressed or sad or not feeling very confident, they look down and people who are more confident look up. They keep their chin up. So when you're telling somebody to keep their chin up, you're telling them, be strong, be confident, don't give up. And usually we say this in a situation where something difficult has happened, the situation is difficult or there was a problem and they faced some difficulty, but you're telling them not to give up and to stay strong and happy and optimistic. Let's say that a friend uh, failed an exam but you know that he's really smart, okay? So you tell him, never mind, keep your chin up. I'm sure you're gonna pass the next time, okay? That's good. Now, let's look at the next one. Pull your socks up. Okay, this is a bit of a British expression. So to pull your socks up means to work a little bit harder. That means somebody's not really doing well enough and you're telling them that they need to work harder. Okay, so they tell, you tell them, pull your socks up. For example, in this case, somebody, let's say, wants to get into medical college, but his grades are really not very good. So you tell him, if you're really serious about getting into medical college, you need to pull your socks up. You need to work harder. You need to put in more effort. Okay, all right. So that was pull your socks up. And the last one, give it your best shot. Okay, that's a little more positive again. Give it your best shot means try your best, okay? Doesn't matter, whatever. I know you're feeling a little bit unsure, but try your best. I'm sure you can succeed. 
try your best, okay? That's give it your best shot. For example, let's say somebody is going uh, for a job interview, but he's not sure, should he go for it? Are they going to like him? Is he good enough? He's feeling really nervous. And you encourage him and you say, no, come on, give it your best shot. You never know what can happen, all right? So it's something that you do to encourage people. All right, so those were the seven idioms. I know I went through them a little fast, so let's review now in this way. I've got some meanings there. Those meanings are not the same as what's written at the side. We're going to try to match them up, okay? Are you with me? Let's go. So, if you want to say to somebody, you need to work harder. So, which expression are you going to use? Which idiom would you say to tell them to work harder? What would you say? Do you know? Okay, so it would be pull your socks up. Okay, you need to work harder in order to get into medical college. Remember, pull your socks up. Okay, the next one, try your best. Try your best, do your best. Which one is that? Okay, yeah, it's the last one. Give it your best shot. Okay, good. Don't give up, be strong. Which one is that? Check through them. What is it? Keep your chin up. Okay, don't give up, be strong. Keep your chin up. Okay, next, be careful of others because there's some people who might be trying to cheat you, or lie to you, or fool you. So be careful of others. Which one is that? Which idiom? Do you know? You're right, I heard you. Yeah, number two, right. Watch your back, okay? Good. The next one, think of the good things. You have so many good things happening in your life. Think about those. So which one is that? What's left? One, three, or four? What should it be? Good. Count your blessings. Right, you're getting it. The next one is, don't bother talking. It's a waste of time. Really, don't. Just don't. So, which one is that? Save your breath or hold your horses? Okay, yes, good. Save your breath. No use talking. It's already decided. And the last one, wait, slow down, is hold your horses. Okay, great. So, I'm glad that you got those. And, of course, you need to practice a little bit, even just to remember them. Like, what do we say? Save your, what? Breath. Hold your what? Horses, things like that. Keep your what up? Chin up, okay? Things like that. You need to learn the expressions, not just the meaning, but also the actual words, okay? Not count your socks, but count your blessings, that kind of thing, okay? So, how do you do that? By practicing. So, go to our website at www.ingvid.com. There you can do a quiz on all of these and really, really learn them. Learn them well practice them, use them, and then maybe in the comments there on Ingvid, you could use one of these and give me an example of a situation where you used it, because that's the best way to really make these idioms and expressions your own, okay? And also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can keep on getting lots of other good lessons to help you learn English faster and faster, okay? Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.